everyone, I'm Shannon Kantner and you are now entering The School Zone, a new CMSD TV program where we sit down with our fearless leaders across the district, our principals, to learn more about them and their school. Today I'm joined by Maria Carlson, the principal at New Tech at Collinwood. Thank you so much for being here, Maria. Thank you for having me. Yeah, it's nice to have you. All right, so Collinwood is an icon in the community. Why don't we start just with a little bit of history about the school? Sure. Um, Collinwood High School uh, was built, I believe, in 1924. It's an iconic building. It's located in five points in the Collinwood area, which is off of 152nd and St. Clair. Um, Collinwood has produced many, many notable graduates, such as Senator Voinovich. Great school. All right, we're off to a wonderful start here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now let's talk about the school today. It's split into two different schools, actually, New Tech at Collinwood and Collinwood Comprehensive. So tell me how that works. Sure. Um, we're actually converting the whole high school into a New Tech school. We started with one grade level. So last year, all of our ninth graders were New Tech students. This year, all of our ninth and tenth graders are New Tech students. And we'll phase in a, one grade each year until 9 through 12 is New Tech at Collinwood. And maybe just a brief description, too, of what New Tech means sure. for people who might not understand that. New Including <laughs> myself, frankly. <laughs> you don't know? <laughs> New Tech is 100% project-based learning. Um, our curriculum is integrated, so students see the connections between what they're learning. So that means that they don't go to English and then math and then science, etc. Um, they take classes together with two teachers from those content areas in the room at the same time. Um, we have five different school-wide learning outcomes that we work on with our students. Of course, knowledge and thinking is one of them because we need to make sure that they are learning the standards and are proficient in those. We also assess them on oral communication, written communication, collaboration, and agency because those are the 21st century skills that colleges and careers tell us students leave high school um, needing some work on. Okay, so we'll talk more about New Tech as we go on with our discussion here, but let's go back for a second because even though it's split into New Tech and Comprehensive right now, um, the two schools do have some things in common, obviously sure. the location. <laughs> um, and how about school colors? Let's just do the basics right now. Sure, um, we are Collinwood Blue and Gray. All right, awesome. Uh, how many students approximately total? We have about 500 students in the entire building. All right, and the school mascot? We are the Railroaders. Awesome, Railroaders. That, that's a proud mascot. Yes, right? it is. It is. All right. <laughs> and the one thing that you guys do have different right now are school mottos. So maybe yes. you can tell me about those. So our, um, each school has their own kind of vision statement. And the vision that we have for New Tech at Collinwood is that we d redefine what's achievable for our scholars by empowering them to take positive control over their lives in the community. All right, so we were already getting into this a little bit, but what makes uh, your school unique? And I know that Collinwood is also an investment school, so maybe you want to tell me about that and then move on to uh, New Tech and how it's unique. Sure. Um, so I, I became the principal at Collinwood two years ago when it was first made an investment school. We are in that group of first investment schools in the district. And basically it is, to be an investment school means that you're sort of making a promise to the community that we will improve these schools within three years time. So we're in our third year at Collinwood. We had tremendous gains in our first year as an investment school. We're still waiting on our report card from last year. Um, but we are well on our way to making big improvements at Collinwood High School for both New Tech and Comprehensive. Excellent. All right, so now we'll move on and talk a little bit more uh, in depth about New Tech. You already started telling me about the curriculum and how things are different there, but maybe you can expand on that a little bit more. If there's things you want to tell us. Sure. Um, so we also have a one-to-one ratio of technology to students at our school. All of our students have their own Google Chromebooks um, and they use, the, it's pretty amazing, and they use those as a resource for their projects to get the work done. Collaboration is huge in a new tech school. Every project has, um, you have to work together because they're, they're real world and they're authentic projects so it's not just, um, you know, here create this poster it's the, the, here's this real problem that we're having in the community and the problem is so big that one person alone can't sit and work on it and figure something out 
you have to work with someone else. It's, it's kind of the idea that the collective in the room is what's going to help us to move forward. And that's really what um, colleges and careers are looking for. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to be able to collaborate in the real world. Absolutely. I was just going to say, it sounds like they're really getting them ready for the real world. You know, a day worth of meetings and right. <laughs> talking to people. <laughs> um, that's awesome. So um, it sounds like the school probably has a lot of cool programs, initiatives, school clubs. I don't know. What kind of stuff do you have going on there? No, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Um, you know, of course, we have athletics at the school, and all students participate in sports. You know, right now we have football going on, we have soccer, we have um, cross country, we have basketball coming up later in the year, all the sports that, that a normal high school would have. Mm -hmm. um, we, a, a really exciting program that we're kind of um, reintroducing this year is a student advisory council. So I think that it is extremely important that students have voice in their school. And so I'm going to start working with 10 students, five from the ninth grade and five from the 10th grade. And they're really going to serve as my counsel, at my advisement counsel. So they can even go so far as, you know, here are some projects that are coming up. What do you think should be the end product for these projects? Um, and giving us ideas for, you know, how should we incentivize students? You know, if we hit this target for our attendance, what should we do for students? Wow, so it sounds like you like to be really involved with your students and engage with yeah. them. I know last year you put together this awesome video <laughs> featuring you learning a dance with students and teachers, basically the whole school. What was the inspiration behind that? Sure. Uh, that video is going to haunt me for the rest of my life. <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> uh, so one other thing that we really work on in New Tech is having a growth mindset. And so... Um, our students kind of would struggle a little with that last year and say like, I can't do it, I just can't, like I'm not good at math and I'm just not kind of mentality. So it was more like a growth mindset challenge with some of the students and I said, you know, you can do whatever you put your mind to as long as you wanna put in the work and the effort, you can always get better at things. And so I said, what, what is it that you think I can't do? And they said, you can dance. <laughs> That's I good. said, all right, I will dance with every kid in this school. How? And so you did it. <laughs> and I did it. How long? Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> no, you did. You did. Uh, how long did that take you? And uh, We did that in two days. Okay. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> well, it sounds like there's a lot of pride in your school, and obviously you take a lot of pride in it. What's it like in general to be the principal there? It is amazing. Uh, just... Yesterday, we had a big, um, our freshmen are working on a vision project, and we had a ton of community partners come into the school to talk to the freshmen about um, how they use our school-wide learning outcomes, the oral communication, written communication, those outcomes I talked about earlier. Um, we also stress character strengths to our students, so there are seven character strengths that are more predictive of success than GPA or ACT scores. Those are things like grit, curiosity, zest. There's seven of them. So the community members came in and talked to our freshmen about how they use those things in their everyday lives in the community. And our freshmen had to incorporate that into their vision. And that was probably like one of the best moments that we have had. Like it was so amazing to just sit and watch our students fully engage with adults that are not adults in the school because you just don't see that on an everyday basis in most schools, but you do get to see that in a new tech school. So what community partners and organizations are you working with? Who, you know, who came in yesterday or and sure. who are you, who's helping you out? <laughs> we had uh, both councilmen come in yesterday, so Councilman Polensic and Councilman Johnson. We had someone from Catholic Youth, Youth Ministries come. We had someone from the Collinwood Rec Center. We had two different community development organizations that came. Um, I'm sure I'm forgetting someone, but we had many, many, many volunteers come in. And oh, we had a police officer from the district come and right. just work with our kids. Someone from the Collinwood Library came in as well. Wow, so a lot of community involvement. In Absolutely. That community involvement is huge in a new tech school. Every project that the kids work on culminates in a presentation. And because they're authentic projects, we really, really try to reach out to the community and have judges come in to listen to the presentations when the kids are done. If they don't come in to listen to the presentations, they're there 
during the project to run workshops for the students or to roll out a project at the very beginning to introduce it to the students so they learn, you know, why is this important and how does this really work in the world. And you were talking about vision. They were working on that with this last project. What is your vision for the school? Sure. Uh, our vision is to produce students who are career and college ready. You know, we want to make sure our graduates can leave our school being the best at whatever it is they choose to do. That's a good answer. <laughs> nothing, <laughs> nothing wrong with Thanks. that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So is there anything else you would want the community to know about New Tech at Collinwood? Just you know, put it out there if we haven't talked about it yet. <laughs> Uh, New Tech at Collinwood really is a phenomenal school. Our students are amazing. They surprise me every day with just how creative they are, how fun they are. It's a, it's a fun place to learn and it's a rigorous place to learn. It's, it's not easy to walk into project-based learning. It really does, um, it, it requires a lot of deep thinking. Mm -hmm. Well now here's deep thinking for you. I just want to end it uh -oh. on this. No, no, no. It's, it's not that deep. Don't, okay. don't be scared. Uh, you might have already answered this, actually, because of how exciting it sounds like this project was with the community members that right. came in. But what has been your favorite moment so far this school year? And it hasn't been very long yet, right. but <laughs> what's been your favorite moment? So, um, you know, I would really have to say that um, yesterday has been my favorite moment so far. In fact, um, it was 11 o'clock in the morning and I have a dean of engagement and he and I were kind of walking around and observing classes together and I just turned to him and said, I need to go home now because it's not going to get better than this today. Like, th this has been amazing. But if not that, I would say my second favorite moment of the year was the ropes course that we went to on Tuesday. Um, it was just a great team building and culture building experience for the school. Wow, and you went with all the students? The ninth graders went okay. this year. The, so this year's 10th graders went when they were ninth graders last year. That's um, become a tradition with us. We do a culture project every year to start the year. It lasts for about two and a half weeks. Mm -hmm. And part of that culture project is just team building and making sure that um, we're kind of all on the same page and we're gonna be able to really collaborate with each other when it comes time to get into our content projects. Excellent, that sounds like fun. It was cool. amazing. Great. <laughs> All right, well, I think that's it for now, unless there's anything else that you want to make sure people know. You good? Come to New Tech at Collinwood. <laughs> we have open seats. <laughs> Perfect. All right, yeah, enroll now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much for being here, Maria, on our first episode of School of Thought. That's it for now.